today we're gonna go over what happens in my king's lands and why you should definitely not log off while the battles are still going on and yes you are seeing this correctly that is a nevsky garrison honestly i almost feel bad even addressing this in this video because i know that this was obviously an accident it wasn't on purpose but anyway let's just jump right into it what's going on guys cheers really quick i did do a giveaway for the month of august so stay tuned to the end of this video where i will be announcing the winner of that giveaway and if you want me to do more giveaways just like this make sure you drop a thumbs up on the video and comment down below let me know now i just want to make this video to bring you guys an update on my kvk it is basically over at this point we've negotiated with allies to take the zig we'll get into a little bit of the details in just a moment okay there was a little sprinkle just a tiny little bit of, of drama around the zig okay but i'm not gonna go too much into detail about that because honestly that's just negativity and nobody needs that plus people probably already made up their minds anyway so like it doesn't matter but if we zoom out here you could see uh this is king's land this is what we're dealing with here okay uh, our alliance here is in sort of the the navy blue and our allies are in purple and also in red it was the fire and water camp versus the earth and the wind camp and essentially we came into king's land and we pushed from left to right and all in all like I would say about eight hours in it was pretty obvious that it was over and then by like 10 hours in we were already through this past eight so yeah King's Land went really really fast I literally left my house to go to work when King's Land opened and for those of you who don't know I've worked every single weekend for the past like six years okay so for my entire Rise of Kingdoms experience I have missed whatever happens on the weekends you'll see on my profile that I haven't done Ark of Osiris since like probably 2020 or 2019 or something like that and that also means that King's Land when it opens on the weekends I struggle to be there okay so I left my house for work as King's Land was opening and I was hoping that we would get a nice long and steady fight so that way after my 10 hours I can come back home and jump online and it just I just did not I just didn't get what I wanted they they wrapped it up too quick okay and I don't work at like an office job there's no like sneaking my phone it's it's just not a thing it's not possible for what I do but on my lunch break I ran downstairs and I was able to join one rally and one flag defense okay and when I saw the report of this rally I knew that by the time my shift was over over kvk was also going to be over okay this is the rally report that i was able to join on my lunch break and oh my god this was absolutely disgusting like i knew it was over i i knew it was over this is just too it's too nasty boys it's just too nasty i guess it was it was crazy okay it was actually insane i couldn't believe that we were like this wasn't even the best report okay let's just be honest and before this past seven we had lots of rallies on our past seven and most of them traded really really well we were also rallying their forts um these are all again these are reports from before king's land opened but i just wanted to like give you guys an idea as to sort of what the scenario was like going into king's land and so when i saw some of the you know when i first saw this report i was like okay knowing what i know about how past seven went and knowing how this is probably how king's land was going while i was at work is it's gg it's gg there's there's not going to be any king's land left for me to enjoy by the time that i uh by the time i get home okay and that was pretty much the case there was also reports like this 112 million kill points to 28 million kill points i mean i mean guys like <laughs> here's another from the past seven fights before King's Land even opened so you could see that we didn't trade positive every time but we did trade positive very very often and some of the outliers here with things like this were just it was insane now I don't think that the enemy expected King's Land to go as quickly as it did or at least maybe some of the players because as you can see here the player that I showed getting rallied at the beginning of this video if you look at his location in the top of the screen here we can see that this is actually just outside of King's Land uh we actually pushed across took their pass and went up and again I just don't think that the players that were in this area thought that they were in any sort of real danger at least not so soon I think they probably suspected that they would hold the pass for a little longer I guess and the lesson here is that you should just never go offline during King's land or during any point of kvk that you could potentially be in trouble from getting rallied okay 
and that is what we see here this player ukto i uktu uktu i don't know if i pronounced that right i do apologize uh, but as you can see there before they were a uh, 80 million power player and here i realized i think i was getting hit by aoe or something with my yeah my guan over here uh i just was super disappointed when i saw it i was like oh my god I'm, I'm such a noob but we did launch a couple of rallies against this player uh i don't know again they obviously did not expect this i don't think that they put their Nevsky in their city wall on purpose I don't think that this was something that they were expecting to happen uh they obviously were offline they would not have let us do this uh, over and over and over again if they were online and also they had quite a bit of resources in their city and we spent a good long time sort of farming those resources out uh we removed a bunch of uh, troops from this flag so it would build slower that way the uh, enemy city wouldn't get auto teleported uh but yeah as you can see here a bunch of players really just started swarming them down afterwards um whether that was the smart strategic play or not is definitely uh up for debate but because we had pretty much determined that Kingsland was pretty much over kvk was over we could be uh a little bit uh, a little bit stupid with how we were using troops let's be honest okay uh, it's typically not a great idea to swarm cities so just be uh, like I'm just being honest with you guys don't do this okay unless you're like a giga whale all right uh but I did it I was there we're chilling it was fun it was a good time and again they had a lot of resources so um you could probably see here your boy was broke at this point and and he still is here was that rally report uh from Misty he used his Attila Takeda still a tried and true city rally combination uh it just burns so strongly that if the player is offline you're really going to trade pretty well uh here you could see obviously 645,000 deads on our side 1.2 million deads on his side uh kill point trade was almost three to one bunch of resources looted as well so uh this went pretty well and again clearly um Nevsky Joan is not the play although at least they had the double AoE on Joan it definitely I mean it it hit me so I mean you know he got a little bit of value out of that which is nice but yeah I can skip through here we basically just swarmed them looted all their stuff uh over and over and over again until they were uh until they were zero so here you can see during the swarms my Guan Sargon traded negative because he was the one standing in the AoE earlier so obviously a negative trade here but we can press play uh, I got a nice little nice little positive trade here and here we also got a nice four to one trade here with my Budica Julian so even for swarming it ended up being pretty good pretty nice obviously this dude uh got a nice little chunk of kills and deads from the uh from the rally but definitely uh definitely was probably upset when they logged back in and found out what happened also if you were curious about the troop buffs this is what the city actually looked like I did just find the actual report that was sent to me from Misty so thank you Misty I appreciate that you can see the all damage here was just a big differentiator clearly I mean obviously it wasn't even a proper garrison but they also had the seven percent less damage bastion skill and also the archer units four percent attack four percent defense which I mean this is this is rough here okay this is obviously that means that they don't even have Kira's third skill maxed out right so I don't know if this is a new player and their best option for Garrison was Nevsky Joan because that's the only pair that they had worked on by the time they got to season of conquest that's possible it is shocking to me that they wouldn't expertise Kira uh, for those of you that don't know obviously Kiara can only be obtained from the Soroli crisis event and it may feel like it's a waste of sculptures to expertise an epic commander that you're not I mean you're not really going to use it's good for peacekeeping obviously but you do want to expertise her still for moments like this where she is a bastion commander and you can actually get some nice uh nice skills out of her so yeah let that be a lesson I know she feels useless but there are scenarios like this where it might be good now here we have another city rally this player was actually Actually online so they were taking this rally intentionally I guess just farming kills farming deads whatever just to just to pop off a little bit right before kvk ends right I mean they they kind of already knew again if you take a look at the coordinates here we were pushing right up against their uh level eight pass right so I mean we had pushed them pretty far into Kingsland at this point so I'm pretty sure that this dude knew that it was pretty much over so why not uh why not farm out a nice little city rally uh you could see here they have a Zenobia on the wall 69 million power 400 million kill points uh so I don't know how many kvks this player has been through but I don't know if it was worth taking the city rally because daddy demon I know a lot of players in my alliance call him dd so they don't have to actually say that but uh I'm gonna say it with my chest daddy demon daddy came in here and was popping off with the uh Attila Nevsky and you'll see the Attila pops his active skill here right just watch this just watch this real quick watch this active skill there next is Nevsky and check this out ready boom literal tactical nuke literal tactical nuke tactical nuke incoming 
542,000 skill shot. Absolutely insane. Okay, absolutely hit him like a missile from orbit. Obviously, Zenobia YSS is a great garrison choice for your city because they are a pretty good mixed garrison strategy. I have that on my wall as well. It works decently well, and you could see that that YSS hit was 52,000. So the Nevsky and the Rally hit. 10 times harder than the YSS okay so yeah this player uh obviously again they were online this was intentional they were farming here um but should they have done that I don't know bro because this was a nasty rally uh I don't have the unfortunately I don't have the rally report from this but again there's another 320 thousand skill shot from the Nevsky and then eventually they uh threw up their bubble there's a little bit of smoke coming out here and we could see they are down to 67 million it looks like they got 3 million kill points from that something like that yeah this was the before so they got again like 2.5 million kill points maybe they obviously didn't really lose any power they probably didn't take any deads yeah I mean again it's not a massive embarrassing loss for this guy I think it was fine he was just farming a little bit but man seeing that Nevsky hit the city was just oh man beautiful beautiful the reason why Nevsky is so good he can do everything anyway I'm sure some of you guys are curious about my stats for the KBK this is my Hall of Heroes uh obviously my schedule was awful for this kvk and it's honestly super disappointing for me because i did buy most of the pop-up bundles for this kvk and i kind of feel like i wasted them a little bit uh 1.2 million deads really nothing crazy there i think this was probably about the average for my kingdom i know some players were way higher when it comes to kills i got about 7 million kills and as far as kill points i think i went up 116 or 110 million kill points something like that and pretty much all these numbers come from just a few Few hours of fighting honestly because again I just couldn't be there for some of the bigger moments but all in all it was a really solid kvk I want to give a huge shout out obviously to the leadership of my alliance here in kingdom 1568 they are always so organized and just insane I think miss mayhem and rk pulled like multiple days where they got like an hour of sleep two hours of sleep stuff like that they're always arguing in voice chat as to who got less sleep like it's some sort of competition for the record I think May wins that competition I think she probably got less sleep this KVK but hey listen it is what it is I also want to give a huge shout out to obviously our allies they were there basically the whole time especially our camp mates uh that is really really uncommon for us in 1568 and also shout out to our enemies I mean especially Earth like they fought up until King's Night up until the very end they really put it all on the line especially during past seven as well constantly rallying our past uh it's really you know and I don't cover kvks that often on my channel uh, but really the truth is that our kvks typically end in one of two ways either it's us in a 1v2 or 1v3 because our allies gave up an entire zone ago or we are just basically stomping through the enemies after like a single altar we just completely destroy them and they barely show up and it just we steamroll the rest of it so it's it's often like kind of lopsided which is unfortunate but in this kvk again the enemies showed up till the very end the our allies showed up till the very end i think that overall it was a really good kvk now again i'm just going to mention it really briefly because i'm sure somebody's going to bring it up in the comments okay there was some a little bit of drama that happened with who gets the great zig okay who gets the star on their uh alliance there was a handful of players from some of our allies that thought that we betrayed them okay by by basically saying that we wanted to uh get the star from the great zig uh but guys if, if if this looks like a betrayal to you okay like all of our allies are in king's land we are giving them the maximum amount of rewards possible except for taking the the great zig final rewards and uh also we're giving them all of the autark rewards that we can so like if you call that betrayal then you've probably never been betrayed in rise of king i mean betrayal means you ain't even in king's land anymore boys betrayal means like we burn in you okay uh we invade in your home zone that's betrayal all right this is this is not betrayal i think overall yes there was a small amount of drama that went on for like a day or so but at the end of the day everyone fought super super well i was really impressed by the performance of our allies of our campmates and even by our enemies now as far as our kingdom kingdom 1568 uh I do not believe that we're going to be recruiting after this kvk unless you've already talked to leadership in my kingdom uh, for those of you that don't know I am not part of leadership I don't do anything that involves recruiting or you know kingdom management alliance management or anything like that 
I'm sort of just promotion uh for for the kingdom okay I think the only exception is if like you are a giga Chad mega well then you may be able to convince leadership to come into our kingdom uh but the requirements here are uh, you know a little bit high for most players so right now unless you've already talked to leadership we probably will not be recruiting so just keep that in mind however kingdom 2790 is a recruiting I believe and they did perform really well in this kvk so if you are interested go ahead and reach out to them kingdom 1787 was great as well so you know you could reach out to them see if they are recruiting if you guys are interested but overall it was a good kvk and I'm happy with how everything turned out all right now let's really quick announce the winner of the August giveaway okay if you guys were curious 315 people entered the giveaway which is not that many people okay so if you completed all the actions and followed me everywhere you had a double chance of winning anyway so I feel like your odds of winning this are actually pretty good so if you guys didn't enter because you thought that your odds of winning were like impossible well next time I do a giveaway you should definitely join because there's a is a pretty good chance okay like you probably have a better chance of winning this giveaway than getting like the perfect armament with double inscription but anyway let's go Go ahead and draw the winner here for the august 2023 giveaway and the winner of this giveaway is okay i don't want to dox this guy but his name is pablo and he actually got the winning draw from the 2000 bonus points for following me everywhere but i said in the rules that i will be verifying that you actually completed the actions and this gentleman is not actually following me on twitter and therefore this is an invalid entry the actual winner's first name on the contestant list is keys k-e-e-s i'm gonna reach out to you via email to verify looks like you're in the netherlands as well so check your gmail i will be reaching out to you and hopefully i hear back because you are actually the winner anyway if you guys made it all the way to the end of this video make sure you drop a thumbs up on it it really helps out the channel a ton it helps get this video out into the youtube algorithm so other rise of kingdoms players might see it comment down below your thoughts on everything that i talked about in this video and also if i should do another giveaway in the future while you're down there consider subscribing to the channel and clicking the bell to be notified the next time i upload a rise of kingdoms video and with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omniarch i will talk to you guys again soon peace